Hello there, friends. It's me, Kara Lee, and welcome to episode two of Up and Down Design. We're here in a two-story vacation home in Happy Home Paradise where we've set up two rooms, one upstairs and one downstairs, with the same furniture set, the patchwork furniture. And we're hosted by Stu today, by the way. And we've got the same layout in both rooms as well. We'll be decorating each of the rooms in a different style and then deciding which one we like best. So today's styles are industrial versus nature. So downstairs will be our nature room. And for each of the rooms, we've chosen a brick wall, a big view window at the back. We have a seating area, an eating area, and a sleeping area. And we've added in some sound effects today. So we've got a bit of a city street vibe here and more of a forest vibe downstairs. So we're gonna get started. with our decorating. And so we've chosen the same furniture for each room. This is gonna stay where it is, but beyond this, we can add anything we want. We, we can add rugs, we can add any kind of accents, any other furniture that we wanna add in to complete our look here. So let's see, this feels like a good match here, maybe. Yeah, I kind of like that for the bed area there. We want to put something decorative on that counter back there, I think. The windowsill. Looking out over the city. We've got some industrial sounds coming in. Uh, let's see, what can we find to set over here? Now this is not my usual style of decorating an industrial type look. So this is gonna be uh, fun for me to try something new here. I kind of have an idea. Oh, we need some food too for the table while we're right here. What kind of food do you eat in an industrial setting? <laughs> I guess kind of anything goes, doesn't it? Let's, we'll see if we can find a cute little meal. We might have to look for more later. Let's see, we're looking for something cool to go on the windowsill over here. Oh, you know what? I think they need a switch. They definitely need a switch. They would totally have that. Um, we don't want a busted radio. Let's see, we'll put a cordless phone in here. I feel like that's something they might have. Let's do the silver. Although we don't want to get everything too samey colored in here. Like they're, they're allowed to have some color, even though it's industrial. Uh, do we want the red? Let's just see what the red looks like. It's going to hide it all from us right now. Let's see. What else might we have? Might have a key tray. Yeah, that looks good. Get one of those. Probably need to put a little table by the door, maybe. If we have room. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's do a little model kit. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to incorporate that, <laughs> but we're going to incorporate that. Oh, we definitely need one of these. For sure. <laughs> and let's bring a little bit of organic into here with a brine shrimp aquarium. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's our little nod to the nature room. Let's see, what else have we got here? We're in the year of the dragon. Let's put in a dragon figurine. How about a little camper? Oh, these are super cute. How do I never use these? Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Um, patched together? It's, it needs a little color though. The Royal Coach is fun. I kind of like the retro. 
Let's put this retro one in here. Maybe it's a little memento from a trip Stu's taken. <laughs> Just memories. Okay, let's see here. Let's put this on the windowsill up here. Yeah, and then I'm, we're going to move this little... I'm not 100% sure we're going to end up keeping that <laughs> little brine shrimp aquarium, to be honest. All right, he's going to have this by the bed, too. We could add some little tables by the bed, maybe. Um, hmm, we'll have to think on that. And we also have to think about this corner back here because they can't really kind of actually get back there. So it, it's gonna just be kind of decorative there. And how many times did I just say kinda? <laughs> uh, let's see here, what can we put in? Iron wall lamps seem like a good choice for this area. Although I have to remember that we can't put them on the partition walls. Let's see, is this the big TV? We want a big TV in here. We're gonna put it on this wall over the couch. And what color do we want that to be? I think we will go with the silver for that. So let's get a nice big TV down here. It can sit on the couch. I'm gonna put it a little lower just because of the height of the animals. I know that looks kind of weird to us, but if you were sitting on that couch, that would be totally at eye level, so um, I think that's going to be good. Maybe we'll kind of do the walls first here. And there's me saying kinda again. <laughs> All right, we definitely need this light switch. Maybe an intercom monitor goes in here. Uh, an air conditioner is perfect. Let's get some industrial type stuff in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we definitely want some of these like metal signs. Do, 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 do. Let's do, let's do the red, white, and blue. And then I want to do, I want to do two of them. I, I kind of like this Nessie one. Let's go with that. I can be kind of decorating the kitchen here. I don't know why I'm saying kinda so many times today. I'm very, I'm <laughs> very aware of it. Okay. We'll just put this little intercom monitor there. We're gonna have the air conditioner up here over the door. It's actually gonna be kinda high in the room. A little mini split is what I have in the room I'm in right now. Let's put some gears in here. I like the black. I don't know, that's just something fun, right? <laughs> something fun. Um, I like the skateboard wall rack too. I feel like Stu would have that. I feel like Stu would have little mementos of his past, you know? He's like, hey, those are from when I was a teenager. Those are from when I was a kid. Or, you know, who knows when he did the little camper van adventure. I'm gonna go with this one. Damaged? Oh, we don't want damaged. We're gonna go with this one. Um, the camper van adventure could totally be from when he was a kid. And maybe it's a souvenir he picked up. Let's see. I kind of feel like we can... Oh, does this come in more than one color? I never knew that. Whoa, that is cool. <laughs> Did you guys know that? Okay, well, that's fun. Uh, we could have a little art. Definitely could have some art. Let's see, what kind of art would you have in an industrial type room? None of this art is very industrial feeling, is it? Maybe we could go with the academic painting. That's kind of... That's kind of got an industrial feel. Let's see, would he have a photo of anyone? No photos, no posters. I kind of feel like he might have a gyroid. This one looks kind of industrial. 
We're going with the Wuroid. And we're gonna do it in like this copper color. Oh, I didn't mean to put it on the wall. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna get some Agent KK in here. That looks cool. I wish you could choose the frame color on the KK slider pictures. But you can't. What else looks industrial here? Maybe KK cruising. Maybe some rock. Okay, so that's all his favorite music. <clears throat> now where do we put all this? Um, we're just gonna gyrate back out. All right, the art, I think we're going to, you know what, now that I'm looking at that, I just think maybe that doesn't really fit in this room. I'm gonna set it over here for now, but I think we might change our mind about that. Uh, we're gonna put the KK Slider albums over here, or we're gonna put KK Cruisin' over here. Can I get that farther over? Yeah, there we go. I don't know what we're doing with this fossil yet either. Put it over the kitchen. <laughs> um, a little bit of KK Rock there and the skateboards next to that but we might have to spread those out a little bit so that we can center the skateboards with it um there yeah that works doesn't it okay then we'll take uh maybe we don't need more kk albums we need something for the kitchen over here definitely do let's see what do we got what do we have that looks industrial for the kitchen how about a magnetic knife rack yeah that's good or is there a colorful one yeah totally gonna have the colorful one. we gotta get a little bit of color in here we can't have it all be in. Uh, maybe that's a little too not. We should put a fridge in here. All right, let's put the little knife rack back here. And then we'll totally get a fridge. I think we need to move this fossil though. That's not going over the kitchen. That's not gonna stay there. Uh, we'll hang it on the wall here and then maybe add Maybe, where, where am I going? Uh, maybe we'll add the fossil poster, because Stu could totally be into fossils. Oh, that little pennant is kind of cool too. Maybe we'll put an exit sign over the door. I don't get to use this stuff very often, so <laughs> it's kind of fun to, uh, to put this stuff in. Okay, so... I mean, you know, don't get to. I don't choose to because it's not the style that I usually go for. Uh, let's put the fossil poster here. And we'll put the little fossil. I feel like it needs to line up. I feel like the industrial, for some reason, would be very lined up. I don't know why. Don't know why I feel that way. I just do. Um... I want to put, where's those iron wall lamps? I want to put a couple of those in this area. You know what, let's give him a wall fan over here for the bedroom area. And I think we're going to actually go with the red again. Putting a few little pops of red in the room. Oh, he definitely needs a throwback wall clock here. Uh, we're gonna go with this one. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we're gonna take out this guy. We're gonna have the fan over here. Maybe a little higher up. Oh, I can't put it where I want it because this is in the way. So we're gonna put that right over... Is that where we want that? Should go a little bit higher. Yeah, we'll go a little bit higher. Maybe we'll put that right above the TV. How do we like that? And then do we need something over the window? What do we have for ceiling decor? 
I was kind of thinking of putting some of these vertical split curtains. Oh, we need to go to the ceiling. Do we have an industrial type look to these? Let's go with the black and then... Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like. So where I was thinking of putting this is here to kind of separate the bedroom situation. Let's see where to go. I need to turn it <laughs> and put three across there. It kind of, yeah, it kind of hides it a little bit, but then you know what? It also hides our nice city view window. And I don't know if we want to totally do that. So how about we just put two of them in? That adds a little bit of organic shape to the industrial space which I think is good. All right, I think the brine shrimps are not gonna, oh, we're in the ceiling, haha. <laughs> not quite gonna fit in here. All right, we need another rug. We need another rug. A rug for the living space. Let's see, what can we do? Gray floor tiles, a spooky rug. <laughs> That's one option. Uh, we could definitely do the wavy rug, I think. That would be an okay look. The record rug is pretty cool. Let's see what size that is. Since he does have a little bit of music stuff in here, let's just see what size that is. Um, and it's got that little pop of red again. Can we put that in the living area here? Is that going to be too weird? I kind of like it. I kind of like that. You know, with the the denim patchwork furniture there and the record. I don't know. That feels pretty cool to me. <laughs> is that is that TV too low, do we think? I don't know. I think we decided it's at eye level. Let's just put Stu over here for a minute and see what he thinks. If Stu's sitting here... Okay, that TV could be a little bit higher. Let's move it up just once half space. We'll move it up a little bit. There we go. That's better. All right, now we need some more stuff to set around and um, like some more little tables and stuff. Somewhere that he can sit and do his little robot model. What kind of chair looks industrial? We could get him a little office chair, or maybe one of these, something a little more comfortable. Is that gonna go in this room? Yeah, I don't really see anything else. Unless we go with like another stool, like the ones he already has, but I think he could totally have an office chair in here, yeah. We'll get him an office chair. And we'll do it, well, let's try it out in the red. I think we have we have some blue in here, but we've definitely got the pops of the red here and there. Why is this not letting me put that down there? Because there's a dragon. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually want to put the dragon up on this window sill. So. This divider wall. Okay. What? Accidentally just. Okay. <laughs> okay. I keep moving the rug. Stop that. I'm trying to grab this. There we go. All right, and I want to turn this around and have this up here. This is a fun little decoration for his little eating area there. Oh, we were going to add in a fridge too, weren't we? Let's find a fridge. We need a table. We need a little table for him to work at, and we need a fridge. What kind of table would he have for working at? I feel like we could probably duplicate the table that's in there. Would be another, he could just have a couple of those. So let's go find a fridge. A refrigerator. Where are you? Okay, here's some kitchen stuff. That is not a fridge though. Where's a fridge? <laughs> Wouldn't it be with that other stuff? No? Evidently not. Oh, here we go. Appliances. Okay. Uh, probably the double door refrigerator. And we want it in black if we can get it. Okay, to match our little kitchen there. 
Can we customize that any further? Can you put... No, we can't put stickers on the door of that one or anything. That's fine. He probably wouldn't have that anyway. All right, let's go back and look at the food again. We gotta figure out what food... What food Stu's got up in here? Let's see... What would he be eating? He would just have a nice little... meal? A little prepared meal? We could go with the futuristic meal. That could be fun. Does that look like something someone would eat? <laughs> it's got kind of some funny colors in it. Alright, let's go with this one. We don't get to use that very often either. Um, but we need something to put up on top of the fridge. Like maybe some sardines. Maybe some tomato puree. Something in some jars. What else do we have? That might be all our jar items. Uh, I think we're going to go with the tomato puree just to bring in that little bit more of red. So let's put his little... Um, oh, actually we decided on this futuristic meal, didn't we? <laughs> if I can get it in the right spot. Why is it so hard to find the right spot? There we go. Alright, and this tomato puree... Oh, we can't set stuff on top of that fridge. Well, that's too bad. Alright, nope, we're gonna get rid of that. Okay. Uh, we can set something on the stove over here, so let's go back and find something. Like a pan of some sort. Oh, there's... Um, Tomatoes. What is this one? Let's go with this. Got a nice red pan. Alright, so he's over here cooking something on the stove. I feel like we should have something on the wall up there too. What else do we have? We don't really need to add any lighting to the wall because we've got some nice ceiling lights in there. Maybe we'll we'll give him one more memento from his younger days, his university days <laughs> to put up here. Because he can just, you know, he can have that decorated. However, um, okay, so now we need... We need a little table to go with this, and I think we're just going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to actually set it... let's see, do we want to set it... Yeah, I'm going to set it this direction so that his chair is this way. I'm going like this. We'll put that a little closer. So he just has kind of a little workspace over here in the corner. And so he likes to build models. That's the thing that he does. Um, let's find the pile of the boxes, because he might have some extra ones, you know, that he's going to do next. Let's see. Can't find anything. There we go. Let's see, model kits, robots, he definitely likes to do, I mean the robot is the one he's working on. So I think we'll probably just go ahead and say that he likes robots. And that also makes me feel like we should give him a toy robot in here if we can find that. There's one. You know, maybe that was something he had as a kid that <laughs> inspired him to start uh, building more of his own. And, ooh, we're gonna have to move that rock album up a little bit. Up a little bit. That's okay. It's alright if um, the skateboards are even. 
That'll be fine. I think we might move his little extra stuff over here though. Like this is kind of his little storage corner maybe where he keeps. Uh, Cause we want to make sure that it's already like he's not going to be able to walk through there. <laughs> I do try to make these so that the, the characters can actually walk through. So we're actually going to move this whole situation over a little space because we want Stu to be able to get back there. Um, I don't think we're going to end up with a spot for this unless we put it here. Which, you know, that's fine. That's a place he can keep his stuff. He's sitting at the table. Uh, I do kind of want to add a little rug into this kitchen area. Let's see, something nice and square. And red, maybe. No? Is this too big? Nope, that's perfect. I think we're gonna call that perfect. Uh, let's see, we need to look a little bit more because we kind of didn't go through this section and I think we could probably find something else to put in the room here. I kind of wanted to give him maybe a little plant or something. Maybe not a plant. Let's see what we have. It would be super cool to include something like this somewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we will leave it in here or not. Let's see, what would Stu have? Would he have an RC helicopter? Would he be playing with that inside? You know what, Stu, we're going to give you a little bit of exercise equipment back here. We're going to give you an exercise bike. I think that'll be something good. Yeah. And I think it's appropriate that we're putting it back in the corner that he can't actually get to because like the rest of us, he will own exercise equipment that he never actually uses. <laughs> Let's see, what else, what else? Okay, I've kind of thought it would be fun to have a train set in here, but I don't know if it's gonna fit. It will fit if we put it right there. Um, I think that'd be fun, something fun for Stu. Maybe he has a remote control for it, so he can just have it over there running. Look how happy it made him. You saw him smile when it went in there. Yeah, that's going to take up that space. I feel like even though this is, you know, an industrial type space, Stu, I don't know, he's just rocking his childhood over here. <laughs> so we're going to put the little exercise bike here next to the kitchen then. Does that make it so he can't get by? No, I think he can still get by. Then he can sit there and he can look out the window while he rides the little bike, which is super fun. He can look out that window and he can also see out his big window over there with the city view. All right, I think I'm calling that done. I do wish that we could hang stuff on the walls in their partition. Let's just check the ceiling items one more time to make sure there's nothing we can put over there to make it look a little cool back there. Uh, not really. Okay, well, there we go. There's Stu's industrial upstairs with a little bit of his childhood. Is that too much? Does that take away from the industrial <laughs> at all? <laughs> Maybe we'll take that train set out. Although I like, I like the story about him kind of just reliving his childhood. So you know what? We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. Okay, that's my version of industrial. I don't know if it qualifies or not. 
let's head downstairs. Let's see what we can do with the nature. All right, let's take a look at this room. Now, we did choose the brick wall for both and the same counters and tables and chairs. And we're gonna go ahead and move this little table and chairs over like we did upstairs so that they still match and because we like them to be able to get by so now yeah you can walk right through there Stu can get through the only place he can't get is back in that corner so we'll definitely give him something fun back in that corner for the nature room I think we're going to we're gonna put some plants back there have a bit of a container garden Let's see, where are they? Plants. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna have a coffee plant, we're gonna have a monstera. We're gonna have a fan palm, and I forgot that we can change the colors here. We wanna get something more natural. We're gonna add in a shufflera somewhere in the room. Oh, see, Stu loves these plants. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's put this back there. The Shufflera, I think we're going to bring a little closer up, maybe. Let's see if we can put it next to the bed there. Get our coffee plant back here. And the fern, I'm gonna put right next to the end of the bed here. We're gonna put it right in this spot. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we do wanna get him a little table in here so that he can get maybe a couple smaller plants going on. We might use one of these somewhere. Let's get one of those going. Uh, I think we might actually We want that. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. And we're gonna go with it in the green. And that is going, whoops, that is going to go right here okay and we're going to put another plant on it if we can find them here we go which one should we do how about a little bonsai tree yeah I think the bonsai So let's put the bonsai up there and then I want to go to the wall decorations and see if there's something that can go right behind there. Oh, we're definitely going to want some of these, a couple of those, definitely a hanging terrarium. A uh, nice cuckoo clock, I think. That's fun for a little nature room. And we're gonna go with the green one. It's gonna have lots of green in here. <laughs> we might probably should add a few little pops of color. What other colors did that come in? Maybe we should try the yellow one. Let's do the yellow. Get a little pop of yellow in here. It's not that far off green, but... Um... Yeah, let's see here. We're just gonna put these right there over the couch because uh, there's not gonna be any TV in this space. This is going to be a calm, serene, mountains out the window space. <laughs> um, oh, I was actually looking for something to put 
like behind behind there but maybe we can find something a little later what else do we have oh I freak yeah we can't hang anything on those partition walls anyway in the back so maybe we can hang something from the ceiling in this room that's a little more organic the hanging shelves might be a little bit much let's do a little bird mobile that'd be super fun we need a little bird and isn't there a yellow one we can get another pop of yellow in here and maybe we can put in a vine garland or two i like this light green what does this look like We'll stick with the brown. Let's see here. Not quite. No. Sunflowers? No. <laughs> oh, I like these little birds. We could do some little birds. Let's just make sure. Let's just see what this looks like. If we put this right in front of this window. It hangs down too far, doesn't it? Well, we don't want to block the view of the mountains, that's for sure. I didn't realize that hung down that far. Let's let's actually put it whoops here in front of the partition wall that kind of makes it look like something's hanging on the wall there that's cool we'll do that and then oh we need some rugs in here and we need to figure out where this thing's going oh let's put our little bird while we're still on the ceiling it's gonna get our little bird in here we're gonna have him fly in that direction and I was gonna put this more over oops oh you know what that's better actually we want the birds flying oh we're not gonna be able to yeah okay we'll just put this over the window then that's cool yeah I like that hanging over the window yeah that'll be fun all right what else <laughs> Let's switch back to the floor. We can start finding some little things to set on these windowsills and whatnot. We'll put in some cat grass. Because you can't have too many plants in a nature room, right? We'll just go with the white. Let's see. gonna give him a nice scrapbook that one looks pretty natureful and that is gonna go up the head of the bed I think how about a cute little piggy bank with a lucky clover on it <laughs> that's fun we're gonna put in a little duck model isn't there one of these that has some yellow on it? No? Oh, I thought there was. Okay. Well, um, how about this one? Do we like that? We'll decide. We might replace it with something else. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, we could definitely have like a butterfly model in here for sure. Let's do the purple emperor. I love that one. We'll turn that around. That gets a little more color in here. We're gonna put our little piggy over here. Um, I'm gonna move this plant if I can get to it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, do we have a place for this? I think we'll just... Oh, why didn't it go up against the wall? There we go. We're just gonna have it... Yeah, I think if we're gonna put that against the wall, we need to turn it the other way, don't we? Whoops. There we go. 
Yeah, we'll have that. And then we can put the shuffler up right next to the kitchen because we're not putting a refrigerator in this room. He's just going to bring in fresh ingredients whenever he wants to cook something and not have the stuff sitting around. All right, we're going to put the little book up here. Like, maybe he can grab that to read while he's in bed. Which way does that go? I can't tell which way is upside down. I think that's right. We might actually do something else with that. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's look at... Let's look at some food. Speaking of fresh food... What are we gonna have in here? I think we're gonna have... A nice mixed fruits pie. For sure. And then, does this look fresh? Like he just made a super nice sandwich and a little bowl of soup. He's got some fruit on the plate there. It's nice and colorful. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's get some rugs in this place. We need some rugs. <laughs> Is this too much? It's kind of a lot. <laughs> It does have those pops of yellow. Maybe we can put this back in the bedroom area. I don't know though. That's pretty busy for what's for what else we have going on in here. Pretty busy. What about the yellow stripes? Or ooh, I like the glowing moss rug. That might not work though. We're gonna put a little bit of that. Let's see here. We're just gonna try some out here. Um, oh, the little woven rug is pretty cool. What else do we have that's nature-y? We could put a whole earth in here if we wanted to. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna go that far though. Uh, what about the sunflower rug? That's super fun. Yeah, I like that. And we'll put a tropical rug. There's no space. Um, so we need to get rid of this one, I think, and let's move this one over into this little plant corner. We're going to get rid of that. That looks too not what we're trying to do here. Um, let's get a couple of these. We're going to put the sunflower in the kitchen area and have this tropical rug here in the living area. Maybe? I'm not sure I love that. I do like it back here for the bedroom. So actually what we might do... Is that halfway through the bed? Yeah. What if we put one... Oh, we can't. Unless we take this out. We can have one on either side of the bed there. I kind of like that. Alright, and then we need something. We need one. For this front area. What about the tree stump rug? Is it that one's kind of too small, isn't it? I don't know, that looks kind of cool. We're gonna look at the rugs again though. Maybe there's a big one. We could put the shanty mat. We could do Oh, there goes the little cuckoo clock. Oh, so cute! Little bluebird in there. Adorable. <laughs> That's too cute. All right, you know what? Um, we're gonna we're gonna move that just a little bit. I'm gonna move that over one and move this over one because I feel like that is too close to whoever's sitting right there. What else do we have? Let's put a lion over the door. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Anything over here? Let's go up. Uh, we're gonna get some bottles. Because, you know, we're going to have some fun stuff to to put on the fresh food that we get. And maybe some kind of lamp. Is there a good lamp for there? No, not really. No. Okay. Uh, we're just going to have that show... <clears throat> We're just going to have that shelf there. 
Let's, can Stu reach that? If he reaches up? Should we put it down a little further? Is that too low then? You know what? I like it there. I think we're going to leave it right there. Do we have something else we can put on the counter? Okay, I don't think he'd have that right there, per se. Um, oh, you know what? We're going to give him a revolving spice rack. Yeah, I think that's what we want. Yeah, right there next to where he eats so he can add some more spices. He's all about the spices over here. This is doing some fun stuff with some fresh foods. <laughs> um, and then I want to kind of give him... He already has a big comfy couch area. But we're going to give him a chair. Back here. A patchwork chair. Yeah. Just right back here. Just one more extra place to sit and hang out. Enjoy his plants. Um, let's put another of these. And maybe we'll have the scrapbook here. Like, this is where he sits to chill with the scrapbook. Yeah, there we go. A little, just a little reading and remembering spot. Yeah, I like that. And then I don't think we need anything else hanging in the window. Oh, I did put this little steamer basket here. <laughs> what were we going to do with that? I was going to... Let's see. I was going to try to give him some kind of little kitchen island situation. Um, what colors does this come in? Hmm. None of those. That does not match. Okay. Do, 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 do. What about... Hmm. No, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Not really seeing something. That's exactly what I was thinking. We could try one of these serving cards. Right, let's get that out of here. Let's try the serving cart. I just want him to have a little steamer basket over here that he can use for stuff. Yeah, just a little extra in the kitchen. A little extra in the kitchen area. I kind of want to add one more thing to the walls over here, but I don't know if there's like anything else that we can add. <laughs> let's see. How about a little mushroom wreath? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Let's put a mushroom wreath up here. I'm gonna put it right over this little mm -hmm. spice shelf. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. Well, there's our nature room. Now, which one should we let Stu loose in? Okay. One more little look at the nature room here. Nice cozy space. Full of green. <laughs> Living things. Sorry, I'm not doing great with this camera. Yeah, growing some plants, eating some fresh food. Perfect. But I think we're going to let him loose upstairs. In this spot. So you'll get another look at this. While Stu takes a look at it. Alright, here we go. 
It's ready! Yay, it's all finished! You're the best! Industrial versus, versus nature. Yes. The name stays the same and I don't gotta re-remember anything. <laughs> Alright guys. Well while Stu takes a look around, I will go ahead and say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our little versus build here. Just like to try some different things and just, you know, test out different ways we can use some of this furniture and make it fit different themes. It's just kind of fun. Something fun to do with Happy Home Paradise. Hope you enjoyed the build. If you did, please leave a like and let me know in the comments which one you liked better. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that button as well so you can join us for the next one. Have a beautiful day, everyone.